Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 11th of January. We're looking at the Dow down 181 at 35,888 at the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. And we're looking at the S&P. It was a fantastic turnaround yesterday, uh, almost 100 points in fact. It was just amazing. Um, the S&P is down 19 at 4650. I would just say if the Dow was up 200 and the S&P was up 20 right now. I would say that is fantastic action and that we should see another bounce into maybe Wednesday and then maybe Thursday we start to test the downside. This one is saying, this is just telling us that the overall selling pressure is continuing. You can see that because the VIX had a huge turnaround yesterday from the 20, I forgot to type that in, I think it was 23 area uh, down to a close in the 19s. Uh, that, I mean, that's a big move. Yeah, 23.33, close at 19.40. Uh, and today it's still holding above the 200 period moving average of 20.17. And that suggests that there is still some selling pressure going on even intraday. But most importantly, let's look at the uh, QQQ. That's the one that showed the, the best turnaround yesterday, even closed up. Now it's down 55 cents, 379.57. If at any point this week you can start to see 380. 350 to 385.50, anywhere in that area. That's really good action. And then I start, I think you'll start to see some selling pressure come in again. But uh, this is the weekly chart. You can see it just broke the bottom part of the up channel uh, trend line support. You can watch this closely. IWM is not doing all that well. It's down $1.50. What really is important right here is that people who are interested in gold, gold is up almost $12 at 18.10. It's within a range, and it keeps coming back no matter how much it gets hit down to the downside. It keeps wanting to get back into the 18 teens, and we'll see what happens. Because if it can start to trade in the 1820s and close in the 1820s for two out of three sessions, I think that's a good sign for gold. But in the meantime, it's just in this trading band, you're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is holding very nice. It's up $1.69 or $79.90. It's the TLT that's really important here. It tried to rally. It's only up 24 cents after having a massive move from 152 down to 141. That is big. And that helped the yields go higher. And that helped the XLF, which is the bank stocks, the financials, hold very well. It isn't a leg D. We'll see how it holds. This is a very important week because this is a week that says, now let's see if there's enough residual strength for the really beaten down NASDAQ stocks to rally while well, maybe the Dow type stocks take a breather. I'm going to hand you over to Larry Presavento, of course, which should be a wonderful show, wonderful programming all day. I'll be back with Tom later this afternoon, Basil Chapman signing off, and otherwise, I hope to see you tomorrow, same time, same station.